Hi everybody, Adam Steele from Hot Pole Studios here, and today I want to talk about wireless microphones and how a lot of them can be changed to suit you. Now a little bit of background here, recently I did a video on the new Sennheiser Evolution Wireless Digital System, which is a fantastic system, we tested the range of it, and it went for a long, long way. Uh, I've since used this on every show I've done since, and it's been faultless. But one thing that I did say in that demo uh, review video is that I wasn't a particularly big fan of the sound of this microphone. Uh, this is the uh, the Sennheiser, that's that's the transceiver section, and this is the E835 capsule that's on top. Now, that's no disrespect to Sennheiser at all. Uh, they make some great microphones. In fact, the one that I'm using right now for voiceover is one of my go-tos of all time, the MKH416, otherwise known as the Hollywood mic. It's their shotgun that you see on sets around the world. Um, and they make other great microphones. Uh, recently, I took delivery of a microphone from Sennheiser, uh, which was the MD-435. And this is a, it's not a wireless mic, it's a really nice premium wired microphone. And the sound of it when I took it out live just absolutely blew me away. Uh, it's not a cheap microphone and it's not a cheap sound. And the thing that I've come to realize about microphones and live sound is that, yes, you can EQ them. You can, if you don't like the sound of a mic or it's not cutting through, you can work with EQ to get things to cut a little bit better. But if you look at the frequency response of most microphones, the frequency response wave on a graph is all over the place. Uh, it's not something you can really just change with a bit of more bass, less treble, etc. Uh, it's really quite a complex thing. And that's why I say that with, with my years of experience with trying different microphones, I'm not a big fan of the 835 sound. That doesn't mean it's bad. That just means that for me, and, and my voice especially, let's be honest, it, it didn't do the thing I wanted from it. Now, having done a little bit of research and talked to the guys at Sennheiser, uh, I've come to realize that there are microphone capsules you can get for these systems, uh, which brings me on to the subject of today's video. Um, this is the 835 that came with the system, which is quite a good capsule for kind of being an all-rounder. But since then, uh, Sennheiser have pr uh, provided me with their 435, the MM435, which is the capsule version of that uh, wired mic that I had. And they've also uh, very graciously uh, given me the Neumann KK205 capsule, which is really nice. Um, you see people like, as a good example, Adele using Neumann capsules on her systems because it suits her voice really well. Uh, and that's something that I've come to realize. I also, outside of this, bought the SE Electronics V7 capsule, uh, which is also is compatible with this system. Uh, so what you can do is you can actually buy, uh, here's the thing, you can just screw this whole system off. You can take the capsule and just take it off like that. And you'll see, and I'll do a little close up here, that there are rings on the inside of the capsule and there are connectors on the inside of the transmitter, which lock on and provide power and sound and all that kind of thing for the capsule. And it really does change the sound. And that can be to your advantage, depending on what, what it is you need from your system. Some of these are inexpensive. Some of them are quite expensive. Uh, but it's something that's worth talking about because in my pursuit of perfection, as it were, which I know for some people is like, uh, who cares? Uh, but for those of us who really are interested in getting the best sound before we even look at things like EQ, and gating and compression and all that kind of thing. This is what I think is the way to go. The best way to get 
the best sounds of everything is to get it right at the source. That's why guitarists, as a good example, are often really picky about which guitar they use, which pedals they use, which amp and cabinet they use, even which microphone and position they use, because they're really hunting to get a specific sound. Why should that be any, any different for singers? Especially in a busy live band context, or if you're performing a solo vocal over a backing track. Um, if the backing track is really nicely balanced, but the sound of the microphone that you're using doesn't really fit with it, I find that that can make you sound, you know, not as good as you could sound from a listener's perspective. They don't necessarily know why. They don't necessarily go, oh, there's too much low mid on the EQ on that microphone or whatever it may be. They just know that something isn't quite perfect. And that's what doing this can do. I found that you can buy the transmitter and the receiver for the Evolution Wireless Digital separately and for the other Sennheiser systems as well, uh, which means that you don't have to pay the extra money for the capsule if you know this is not the one that you would like. To me, this one sounds affordable, if you know what I mean. Uh, that yes, this whole system is not cheap. They're in the 600 pounds, 600 euros, a kind of $700 range just for the whole digital wireless system, which is a lot of money. But if you buy the full hardwired version of the 835, it's under a hundred pounds. It's like, what, hundred euros, 110, $120. It's an affordable microphone, which is great. Um, if you're working with the kind of bands where you don't trust them with really expensive stuff, or you know it's gonna get battered and bashed around, sure, great. And also, they've not added a huge amount of extra cost to their wireless system bundles, which makes sense, again, for a lot of people. Uh, but in my relentless pursuit of perfection, I decided that this is not for me. I've rambled on for a long time, and I'm sorry, uh, but one thing I am going to do now is a few performances of one of my favourite songs by Linkin Park. Uh, just acoustic and vocal, but both mic'd up with... The different capsules on this system because with this being a digital system it doesn't actually impart its own sound onto the capsule which is great uh, and then that's now going into a Cranbourne Audio uh, Camden preamp which is really quite clean and clear and then straight into Reaper and I will do uh, a slightly kind of mixed version and then a completely unprocessed one because of course with this being a handheld mic if I get quite close you will hear kind of pop pop pop, pop, pop kind of sounds uh, because that's part of the nature of live sound when you get really close to a mic. Uh, often you, you don't hear that on a live performance because that will get EQ'd out with the kind of sub-100 hertz stuff, but I'm going to show you the completely raw back-to-back -back of the capsules and how I would have it in a mix. So, here we go. My time comes, forget the wrong that I've done. Help me leave behind some reasons to be missed. And don't resent me, and when you're feeling empty, 
Keep me in your memories. Leave out all the rest. Leave out all the rest. When my time comes, forget the wrong that I've done. Help me leave behind some reasons to be missed. And don't resent me. And when you're feeling empty, keep me in your memory. Leave out all the rest. Leave out all the rest. When my time comes, forget the wrong that I've done. Help me leave behind some reasons to be missed. And don't resent me. And when you're feeling empty, keep me in your memory. Leave out all the rest. Leave out all the rest. When my time comes, forget the wrong that I've done. Help me leave behind some reasons to be missed. And don't resent me. And when you're feeling empty, keep me in your memories. Leave out all the rest. Leave out all the rest. When my time comes, forget the wrong that I've done. So there is quite a big difference there. Apologies for my uh, less than stellar performance, but it's a song that I really like and uh, it, without uh, the rest of the instrumentation, I find that it's really good at showing uh, the differences in the sounds here. Uh, personally, sound-wise, I really like the 435 capsule on my voice the best. Um, it's got quite a thick, low uh, kind of sound, uh, it's quite deep and live. I think if if we just tame the ultra lows a bit on that, that will fit me into a mix as a lead vocalist quite well. Um, I also did like the Neumann, uh, which had that classic slightly mid forward Neumann sound uh, with a smooth kind of top end without that ultra brightness that the 835 had. Uh, it did suit kind of a, a more let's say a classical kind of sound uh, and also it worked really well on the guitar um, the options were all there and of course it can mix and match as needed but if we're serious about getting the best sound then I think you might owe it to yourself to check these out of course there are also hardwired versions of each the the 435 and the 205 neumann microphones which are roughly the same price as the wireless capsules but that is what we pay for with wireless freedom is if we want the quality of a digital system uh then that i consider that to be a separate price you know it's 
not everybody needs wireless, but for those of us that do, uh, it's something, it's, it, yeah, sure, it's a lot of money, but then again, how much does a guitar player spend on a valve amp and a nice guitar and all that kind of stuff? Um, I do personally get annoyed by singers who just don't want to spend the money on presenting the best version of themselves because everybody else in the band is doing it, so should you. Um, if you're in a country or a situation where you can't afford it, you can't afford it. I get that. But if you can and you want to present yourself in the best light, then I think you owe it to yourself to at least explore these kind of avenues. There's probably a retailer somewhere near you that would have uh, these kind of things in stock where you can check out the different sounds for yourself. Uh, but yeah, go and have a look uh, because it's something that, yeah, not enough singers take their equipment seriously enough, I think. And, and then, yeah, good in-ears, a good in-ear monitoring and uh, transmission system and a really good microphone that suits your voice, not just money-wise. You might find that the 835 capsule suits your voice better than the more expensive ones. And if it does, fantastic. Uh, but getting the right sound for you, I think is important because that then sets you in the best possible light. Makes the sound guy's job easier because if they've got less work to do, if you just sound like you perfectly fit in that setup, all that kind of stuff just leads to a better show. And a better show means that you've got a more impressed audience, which means that they tell their friends and they come back again and all that kind of stuff. It's the little things that build and build and build that make for a happy time. Thanks everyone for listening to my extended ramblings about mic capsules. I uh, hope you got something educational out of this. Um, I will now be using the 435 on here for anything that's to do with my vocal, or I might be using the Neumann capsule for anything that is female vocal, or if it's miking up an acoustic guitar or something like that, because now I consider this to be uh, a versatile system rather than just a vocal system so yeah there's so much i can do with it so thanks to sennheiser for sending those over um it's going to be really useful in the future and you'll probably see them on the channel again and uh thanks to everybody for watching hit the like button uh subscribe all that kind of stuff and i'll see you in the next video goodbye hey everyone that might be the end of the video but if you fancy carrying on this conversation we have a discord server link is in the description we're also on Patreon, which is something you can really help us with. We also are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hop Pole Studios. See you there.